And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for tonight's episode of Arrow Season 8, Episode 2. Spoiler alerts if you haven't seen the episode yet. So we all know that the, Oliver, the Monitor has sent Oliver pretty much to a mission to pretty much help save the multiverse. So he does it again where tonight he pretty much tells Oliver, hey man, I need your help. I need you to get the scientist that I need help with this crucial impending doom that's coming. So Oliver goes back to Earth One with Laurel and Diggle and um, they're in Hong Kong. They end up meeting uh, Tatsu, who he hasn't seen since like, oh, I don't know, Earth, uh, Earth season one, when he back when he was in Hong Kong, flashbacks when, you know, in season five, I believe, or maybe even four, I don't remember. But um, so he got to hang out with her for a little bit. And uh, uh, Lila showed up as well. That was pretty cool. And of course, Lila helped it out. Laurel, because Laurel, uh, you know, typical Laurel didn't, you know, Black Siren didn't believe that Oliver was telling the truth about or why she took him out, her out of Earth 2, which a lot of people keep thinking it was Earth 3 that she was from. No, it's Earth 2. And um, so um, Earth 2 is gone. Earth 2 has been vanished from existence is no longer an earth 2 but laurel didn't believe it so she went to go find some guy who could help her get the um the cisco um you know transporter device that he uses to go to earths to try to get it fixed and the guy who fixed it for her is like oh yeah it's working now unfortunately you can't go to earth 2 it doesn't exist anymore it's been wiped out and laurel decides that maybe i should just help oliver with this situation so that way prevent it from happening to happening to other earths as well which we all knew that was going to happen eventually and um so we got to see that while um oliver and uh, diggle and tatsumi decide that they have to go find the scientist who's been kidnapped by that i keep it i forgot about this this assassin from the first season she had the white hair. She was also part of the, the new Suicide Squad team at one point. I keep forgetting her name, but she came back. We got to see her again. Same actress, by the way, so that was pretty cool. Um, so they stopped her. Tatsumi got stabbed. Almost died, but Black Canary or Black Siren to the rescue saved her. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of the episode. Once again, like I said, I really i am liking this season so far. I mean, yeah, it's not really much of a season because Oliver is not really saving his city anymore. He's up to bigger things. And this is like the first time that we get to see the Arrow show. This Arrow, not 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 the Arrowverse, just more of the Arrow show play a bigger part in the entire universe of all the shows. You know what I mean? Because normally when Oliver fights these super beings or, you know, gets involved with alien stuff. It's only with the crossover. You know, normally in his show, it's a rarity that he ends up fighting these kind of threats. But unfortunately, since this is the last season, they decided that this is going to be a heavy... Oh, Oliver's going to be fighting bigger threats than, than some guy trying to blow up a city. Yeah, with this crisis happening, the whole universe can be destroyed. And Oliver has to prevent that from happening. You know, if he has to sacrifice himself to prevent that from happening, he knows Barry's around. He knows Kara's around. He knows those guys can help out. But if he can help out just a little bit just to save his family or his own city, he'll do it the best he can. And that's what we're going to be getting this season up to the, the crisis. Look, I still believe Oliver is not really going to die at the end of the, sh of the show. I'm pretty sure... His grave is a sign that says hey, to the people of the Earth and the people of Central City and Star City and all those guys, they're all going to think Oliver's dead. Everybody, them are going to think he's dead. Maybe not all the members of the team, you know, from Arrow, Legends, uh, Supergirl, I think all of them are going to think he's dead too, except for maybe Barry, I mean, yeah, Barry and Kara. That's my guess. And of course, the monitor is going to know as well and also Felicity. Because we did see at the end of last season, Felicity going to the portal with the monitor, saying that, you know, I'm ready to see him again. So he has to be alive. He's just probably out there training or being the new monitor or whatever. But we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. But that's just my main guess of what's going to happen. But from now, we have to wait to see Oliver, you know, go through this mission and try to become the new whatever he's going to be for the new multiverse. 
I mean, obviously the show is going to be over. We might see him pop, you know, see him pop up in cameos here and there, but only time will tell. But, uh, and we are getting a spinoff. And speaking of spinoffs, we get to see Black Star and her team pretty much deal with John Diggle Jr., a.k.a. the Deathstroke leader, Deathstroke gang leader, which, by the way, I don't know, I don't like that name for her gang. Kind of stupid. But um, we got to see him pretty much go face to face with Connor, pretty much talk to him. The whole episode was just them two talking, but then we find out at the end of that, you know, flash forward, uh, he was pretty much distracting him so he could find out what William was in the bunker. So we got to see that. William got captured, so we don't know what's going to happen until next week. But um, overall, the episode was cool. I liked it. But um, yeah, next week, Thea's coming back. So um, is it going to be our Thea? Or three, or four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Who knows? Could be a different version. Who, who knows? Is Oliver still going to be at Earth One by next week? Perhaps, maybe. But um, we have to see what happens. Anyway, so leave me a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Tap the little bell for notifications, and let me know what you guys thought about the episode. And also, do you guys think Oliver's going to die? Or you think I'm just talking crazy about, about the whole crossover theory that I have. So leave me a comment below. Let me know. Thank you very much and have a good day.